and nearly 2 million people have already voted in Georgia's U.S. Senate runoff election. But with the holidays just around the corner, advocacy groups are doing everything they can to boost the turnout. Groups from outside of Georgia are traveling to the state to encourage minorities to get out the vote. Paula Suro spoke with a nonprofit that flew members in from Arizona and Florida to get minorities to the polls or vote absentee. Since Thanksgiving, nonprofit Mi Familia Vota has been calling people in the community and knocking on doors. Their goal is to reach at least 50,000 homes by January 5th. 25,000 doors and counting. He might want to request an absentee ballot. And working around the clock. We work seven days, um, holidays as well, like Thanksgiving. We'll be working Christmas. So we left our families, but we feel like this is not just going to affect Georgia. It's not just going to affect the next four years, it's it's like the laws that are going to pass in Congress, so we're very motivated. With each pamphlet, Yvette Romero, who flew in from Arizona to represent Mi Familia Vota, wants to prove to all minorities that their vote counts. I at least feel like um, like a better person than yesterday because I feel like I'm like giving a, a little part that will take a big impact in our democracy. And it does count. He might want to request an absentee ballot. According to Pew Research, Latinos and Asian Americans make up a growing share of Georgia's registered voters. Back in 2016, Latinos and Asian Americans made up 2% of registered voters. Now that number is up to 4% for Latinos and 3% for Asian Americans. Black voters have also had the largest increase in registration since 2016, with 130,000 new voters. Because of these uh, close races, our Latino population becomes critical if they show up and participate. So critical that now the organization, which has offices in 10 states, is also building a new chapter in the Peach State. We have seen that there's a huge lack of investment when it comes down to Latinos and Latinos getting the message of civically getting engaged in their own language as Spanish. Romero knocks on about 100 doors a day. Coming up at 6, we talk to her about what people at the other side of the door have to say to her about voting. Thank you, Paula.